Right, so this is a simple recipe of just understanding the concept of there being a sphere to start with and the type of mark making that you're going to create. You're always wanting to make sure that in order to make something round, you've got your leading lines on the outside. So this is going to be spherical to show the outside of the thorn base. All right, so if you were ever drawing, you could constantly, as long as you keep repeating these outside lines, going around and around, it's like the inside of a, the latticing of a golf ball, or the inside of a hockey ball, it's all the same thing. The more and more you do it, the more you'll be able to get that sensation of roundness. Okay, so you want to try and, you can in that way, cross hatch in that direction. So the way you're shading, you can run your pencil in the direction that that object is growing. That's the idea. Even when if you were to be painting, you're always wanting to run your brush in the direction, your palette knife, your hands, whatever you're using to create the artwork, you're wanting to run it in the direction, generally speaking, that the object is growing. Okay, now at the base of the stem of the thorn here, we've got a sharp edge that it goes out. And you want to try and use your, you don't want to use your hands too close. You want to try and get a sense of the wrist turning so you, you get a nice long, it ends up being a cleaner line. Using your fingers sometimes ends up, uh, the little metacarpals, you get a little bit of a mess up or a lack of the detail. But we're wanting to look for, in any successful artwork, you're looking for strong contrast. Okay, especially whilst you're learning to draw. We're looking to get the most amount of punch for as little effort as possible. And in that sense, you get a lot of dark happening in the base underneath. You get some strong contrast coming out with pencil. Because you don't have color, you have to work with what you do have. And in the case of pencil, it is just dark and light. And so inside this here, we want to, if you look at the reference, there's this sense of dark and light that ends up happening and we want to make sure that it is just up to the edge here. The whole time we're looking to create little bits of texture. There's a little spot there of the light and the dark there as it comes around the corner and goes there. It's got a little bit of light coming out there and there's another little dot there. Then the rest of this, as it comes off the spike, we want to keep it nice and nice and soft. So for the rest of this now, you wanting to just create a general keep an eye of where the light and dark areas are. I am just giving it a bit of a grey on the top here. A little bit of a grey on the top. But we do get the synthesis going all the way around. Cross that going all the way around there. Okay, but that is just dealing with the the ball side of it. Okay, as, as we come further up to the top, the only, you only see an object as a result of the light that exists behind it, the light or the dark that exists behind it. Okay, and in both these cases, we've got this thorn starting to stick out, and there's light in the background, or dark in the background, whichever one. Okay, so here we've, we're going to have to try and create in this particular piece. In order to be able to see these things, the lightest areas anyway, you're going to have to have a little bit of dark in that background. You don't want to outline, all right? You just want to create a shape in the background so that the shape that you've got, whatever it is, an in, 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 in organic shape, right, that you can shade, just generally shading so it's out of focus background, you are creating a gray area so that that light thorn will be the part that sticks out. Alright, so you're going to be able to maybe run your pencil in the way that you've been learning to shade this whole time. You want to create that and that's going to go around the whole the whole drawing. Wherever you want light to stand out you're going to put dark in the background. But this obviously here where the thorn is dark the background is going to appear lighter. But there are going to be other areas, for example this little bit of thorn that comes out here. Now you've done a very light construction drawing. This here, you want to make sure that you can see that 
drawing of that thorn, the light of the thorn is as a result of the hazing in the background. Okay, so those are really the only kind of rules you need to follow in order to create this drawing. It's just a repeat of that and just making sure that you get nice soft areas wherever the light area joins the dark area you want to have a smooth graduation so it's like lots of scribbling you're just going to try and do as much scribbling as you can to get this to work we get it to go back to a little bit of dark on that side so that it comes back to light in the foreground here okay so we're going to go through and complete this drawing now and it's really the idea is to try and get texture you get your darks and your lights working darks and lights working together that's essentially what we're looking to create 